case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Michelle Carter, a young woman, faced a landmark case, Commonwealth v. Carter, in 2019 in the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court. The court had to grapple with a provocative question. Can speech, however damning, be considered as recklessly leading to a death warranting a charge of involuntary manslaughter? Carter was convicted on these grounds for compelling Conrad Roy, an 18-year-old, to take his own life. The court argued that Carter's coercive verbal conduct through her continuous communication with Roy led to her actions overcoming Roy's will to live, thus playing a significant role in his demise. Carter contested this conviction, arguing her actions were indistinct and contested their legality. She also objected to the court disallowing expert testimony in her favor. Carter's appeal, however, fell on deaf ears in the Supreme Judicial Court. On reviewing her arguments, the court confirmed her conviction for involuntary manslaughter. The court stated that there was substantial evidence aligning with the charge against her and that her expert testimony would not tip the scales in her favor. The ruling was made, believing Carter's case was not protected under the First Amendment and the statute applied to her did not violate any constitutional rights. Accordingly, Carter's conviction as a youthful offender for involuntary manslaughter stood firm. The court ruled that her actions recklessly oppressed Roy's will and led to his untimely death. Furthermore, it maintained that her communication, irrespective of being purely verbal, was not protected by the First Amendment, thus paving the way for a groundbreaking ruling in the realm of legal interpretation of speech and conduct related to involuntary manslaughter. The negation of expert testimony was justified on a case-by-case -case basis, underlining the court's sound judgment in maintaining the sanctity of the trial process. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.